pretty good. <laughs> My name is Evan Singer. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, originally. Uh, I'm the co-host of the Park Train Podcast with the number one mental show in golf. Our mission is to help frustrated golfers enjoy the ride again. So people come to us frustrated. We help them get out of their own way. I was reflecting on my career, at least, coming into today. Actually, I interned at Aldi, the grocery chain, in college and um, they pay really well. I remember I got a thousand a week for 10 weeks and I was able to go to Europe after I graduated college, but I was under the fluorescent lighting and all I was being told about was the pay, the benefits, the great company, the low turnover, right? But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm managing a grocery store. Nothing against that, but I didn't get excited about that. It was all ego driven, titles, money, etc. One thing I was, I was reflecting on like the big keys for me, number one would be getting clear on what you want. And when you think about it, when you ask someone, I would say eight times out of 10, maybe nine times out of 10, they pause and they don't have an answer because we're so rooted in what we don't want. Golf is a perfect way to practice that, right? Because like I can stand up here and I woke up this morning and I didn't want to mess up on camera. That was there. But to be able to then say, what do I want? Well, what I want to do is I want to swing at 55% and I want to turn my body through. And if I can do that, I don't have to worry about hitting bad shots because those are important keys for me. And the mind sort of in the, in the mental framing, the mind doesn't really hear do's and don'ts. So if you sort of said, don't hit this one in the bunker, which is what we don't want, mm -hmm. the mind hears bunker. Yeah. So to your point, exactly, when your focus is on what do I want to do here? What do you need to do to create those outcomes you want? Right. And that's when we live in the process. That's totally different. I just know so many people that live their life based on what they don't want. And they never actually get clear on what they want. So I accepted an offer to work with TaylorMade Golf for 28 grand um, at their ad agency. And, um, you know, on paper, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But emotionally, it was a no-brainer. I always loved golf, but um, growing up in St. Louis, I was a big baseball guy. Baseball was my sport. But when you play baseball and then you golf, they kind of mess with each other. Anytime I golfed with my dad or my brother when I was like 12 or 13 years old, it would affect my baseball swing. In high school, I broke my elbow. I never got to play an inning on varsity baseball. All my friends were playing golf and baseball just wasn't fun anymore. So the day I got cleared with my surgeon, I went to the driving range and I never played baseball again. So it's interesting how golf is now a big part of my life. I don't think I would love it as much as I do if I didn't neglect it or didn't allow myself to scratch that itch for so long. It's almost like the prolonged period of not playing now makes me love it even more. And so I started a fantasy football platform while I was at TaylorMade, worked for the NFL for three seasons running their fantasy football platforms. My boss went to Uber, he brought me over to Uber, and um, then I got laid off. Oh. I got to really think about what I wanted to do and, and everything that every other company I looked at felt like I was suppressing this inner voice of like, you've been wanting to do your own thing for a long time. You've gotten some interest now that you're not working for a company. Let's, let's just try it. Let's just do your own thing. It was scary, but you know, here we are four years after that, we've reached, you know, over a million people on our podcast. So it's funny, hindsight's 2020. It's easy to see the, uh, how everything connects when you're looking back. But I think it's also a good reminder of knowing how things connect. I think it allows me to see things that are happening now with a little bit of like wonder, curiosity of like, where is this leading? Oars and Alps has this saying of when the wind doesn't serve, take to the oars. I've always connected with that. We've obviously talked about entrepreneurial stuff, but even with golf, like if one thing fails, understanding that I have other things I can lean on is everything. And if you keep trying to learn, get better, and lean into what you love, 
and you're like, see, that was fun. That was everything that I could have imagined. Or I really enjoyed that part, but I didn't enjoy that part. Maybe I'm gonna get some help on the part I don't like. You're freeing yourself up to like maintain your energy and just enjoy the ride.